TIP is a free app that simplifies politics for voters. My name is Nick Lagnese, and our other co-founder is Akanj J. Kumar. Together, we break down politicians and legislation into familiar looking profiles and match users with these profiles based on their views. Users can send their opinions on policy and legislation directly to lawmakers, and lawmakers can express their platforms directly to users. Two-way communication is key. We are directly addressing problems experienced by politicians and citizens. Anyone can relate to the citizen side. Last time you voted, how many names of local candidates did you recognize on the ballot? Local politics does not get enough representation in traditional media, while these issues may have a more direct impact on you. When you do use traditional media for national or state candidates, extreme biases turn fact into sensationalized stories. CNN and Fox have become more like TMZ rather than pillars of our democracy. Polarization increases as more people use social media for news. Algorithms predict your beliefs based on what you post and search, presenting only one-sided views on complex, multi-sided topics. And just as our democracy depends on its citizens being informed and connected, so must our representatives in order to serve their constituents. Politicians have relied on the traditional polling industry since the 1930s. Participants are randomly solicited through phone calls, and with the rise of spam phone calls, response rates for these polls have dropped from 36% to below 6% in the last 20 years. Due to this, operating costs have quadrupled in the last decade alone. The polls that are completed come out as a single study where there is no ability to live track public opinion. Plus, local and state politicians receive little to no publicity. The political and polling industries are rooted in tradition, and despite trending misinformation and higher operating costs, little to nothing is being done to update our democracy to the 21st century, or solve the fundamental lack of communication between voters and representatives. Politics is complicated, so our number one goal is to simplify. We will focus on creating politician and legislation profiles that look similar to social media profiles, and will highlight what you need to know in order to make an informed decision. You will also be able to express your opinions directly to your politicians, streamlining the representative process. This open form of communication is rarely seen in politics and is our entire focus at TIP. Some basic use cases for TIP are voting for candidates and offices you may have no idea about, voicing your opinion on issues important to you, and fact-checking news agencies and other media outlets. After opening TIP, you start by creating a demographic profile that contains as much information as you want your politicians to see. You can then fill out short polls that will be compared directly with politician voting records, quotes, and campaign policies, all of which are public record. This generates a percent match rating with every politician in our database and can be a handy tool for picking the right candidate based on issues important to you. The first thing to note here is the percent match feature shown in a red, yellow, green format which cross-references user data with politician views and records. After clicking on a profile, you might notice our liberal to conservative ideology slider. Taking the Goldilocks approach, you will be able to click on any simplified record and be able to expand out a more detailed explanation of their voting records and campaign policies. Traditional polls take a snapshot of public perception in a given moment, but fail to track how those views may change over time. Due to low response rates, these polls can take days, weeks, or months, and have led to operating costs quadruple. Tip will poll faster and cheaper than others, and track opinions on policy and legislation. Our business model incorporates three revenue streams. The first is one-time sales of voter profiles. These groups of 300 to 1,000 responses have a high price tag, so we are mainly using them as a proof of concept for clients, and will try to convert them to our subscription model. For $3,000 per quarter, clients will have access to all of our polls from every covered locality and will be able to effectively live track public opinion. Our third revenue stream will come from a small service fee for donations handled through our app. Technology-wise, TIP simply uses APIs provided by political tracking companies to populate profiles. Although we have launched our private beta, we need additional capital to incorporate these APIs. Here, we have four competitors that are most similar to TIP. PolitiFact is the most popular and was created to fact check statements made by politicians. Project VoteSmart provides basic profiles for politicians and is our oldest competitor. Politoscope is the most similar to TIP, however their news section is left leaning and induces bias. Common Ally focuses on simplifying political terms and concepts into childish videos, but the common mistake these companies make 
was launching nationally. This spreads resources way too thin and does not improve local or state policies. So who is Ted? I'm a Temple student as well as a political volunteer for a nonpartisan NGO. Akanj, our other co-founder, is a Temple alumni with experience in the neuroscience and psychology of decision making and addiction. Together, we have met many mentors who are experts in politics, polling, business development, and app development to assist us in this journey. The Valorix Bar based legal accelerator has given us a legal foothold to push off of, and the YC Startup School has provided great resources to take advantage of. We also placed first in the undergraduate track in the social entrepreneurship pitch competition here at Temple, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. In Pennsylvania, the total addressable market is $365 million, and we get this by multiplying the total number of politicians by our predicted revenue per politician per year. In the U.S., our TAM is $6.2 billion, and we estimate that our global TAM is $12.4 billion or more. We will first aim at college students and young voters who have been trailblazers for alternative forms of media. We will attend political clubs and organizations as well as political events and rallies in the area and teach participants how to express their opinions through TIP. Partnering with policymakers and NGOs will also be very important to ensure that we are pulling relevant data and maximizing diverse exposure. We will focus on the Philadelphia greater area to test our concept and then spread the diverse media capitals of New York City and LA. We will start in major cities across the country and expand outwards through the relative states. And once nationwide coverage is established, we can shift our focus to helping other democracies achieve transparency throughout the globe. Our plan for the remainder of 2020 is to finish building and publicly test the app leading up to the national election. We will acquire two client subscribers by this time. Once we raise our next round, we will expand to New York and gather 10 subscribers by the end of that year. In year three, we begin rapid expansion, doubling our presence within a year and gaining 60 client subscribers. This rapid growth will continue until we have a national coverage by the next national election. We've laid out three scenarios that each have their own contingency plan. Our best case scenario has us contending globally with over a billion dollars in yearly revenue. Realistically, getting around 1% of the US market share will turn 20 to $100 million in revenue and of course, the worst case scenario will contain us to a Pennsylvania only service, but still with hundreds of new candidates and clients each year. Continuing with the mission of simplifying politics, here are some potential features that we will develop in our app for the future. Given the current state of the quarantine, we think that the most notable feature is voting for candidates on your phone. And although revenue is on the forefront of our minds, we create a tip in order to have a lasting social impact. Not only do we want to provide a platform for communication between citizens and representatives, but we also want to increase political awareness and participation in general. To measure this, our goal is to have 1 million small contributions to political campaigns to our app by 2025. We are aiming for four different types of companies to sell to. The first is a traditional media firm like CNN, who might be looking for a way to make their political commentary more neutral. The second type is a social media platform. Facebook, for example, has always been into politics, and might find a profile-based system to be very simple. Big data companies like Google might also be interested, as well as polling companies like Zogby Analytics. An acquisition of four to five times our revenue in 2025 would put our sale anywhere from three to 24 to four to five million dollars. With a grand prize, our complete seed round will be funded, providing eight months of financing to reach 4,000 active users and two client subscribers. And our nation was founded with the belief that every citizen has the right to be fairly represented so we're creating a fast and transparent way to engage in politics. 